your Bibles out, and let's get ready to enjoy another study of God's Word. How many know we do worship a faithful God? I said, how many know we worship a faithful God? Has He been faithful to you? Has He been faithful to you? Mm. Everybody help me lift that up. Say faithful. 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 Faithful is our God. Come on and say faithful. Faithful. Faithful is our God. Faithful today. Faithful. He's our God. And reap me. And reap me. The harvest God promised. Take back yet. Take back what the devil stole. I rejoice today. I rejoice today. I shall. I shall recover it. I rejoice today. Faithful. faithful, he's faithful, faithful. and he faithful. is our God. Is our God. I'm glad I know him as faithful today. Faithful, faithful. faithful. and he is our, faithful. Is our God. Come on, help me praise him. He's faithful, faithful, faithful. faithful. he's our God. I'm reaping, I'm reaping the harvest I promised. Take back yet. Is Jesus, come on, y'all. Jesus is our God. How many know his name today is Jesus? Jesus, Jesus and he is our God. I'm glad I know it today is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus and he is our God. Come on and help me magnify him as Jesus. Jesus, and he is our God. Rejoice in this place. I rejoice. I rejoice today. Come on and think about all that the Lord has done. And rejoice. I rejoice today. He's a mighty God in our lives. Come on and rejoice. And I rejoice today. I shall.
his hands together and thank God for recovery. We're so honored, we're so thankful today. As we gather here today, the Lord allows us to take this word literally around the world. And even now, we're streaming live all over the world. And I'm going to pause and take a moment to welcome those that may be joining us from wherever you may be. You're in the right place at the right time. And I welcome you to this broadcast of Taking the Word to the World. The presence of the Lord is here. And one thing about this mighty God we serve, it doesn't matter where we are, he's right there. And all you have to do is praise him and welcome him into your atmosphere. And when the Lord comes, oh, he comes with blessings. He'll lift you. He'll heal you. Amen. He'll work some things out for you. All you got to do is give him a marvelous praise. So I want you to join with us. As we praise him here, you praise him there. As we magnify him here, you magnify him there. Let's just do this thing for Jesus together. Welcome to the word. Come on, give God praise, everybody. Well, today, as we magnify God, as we magnify God, it's also a time that we are thanking God for the lives of my parents, my father and my mother. The Lord would see fit. They would call them to rest just three days apart. Amen. But we're here to praise Him. I thank God that before they left us, they left an inheritance in us. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. They left an inheritance. We're some wealthy folk because of them. Amen. Because of what they left on the inside. So we continue to give him praise because of who God is. Amen. And we thank God for all of you that are here with us today. And we thank God for kingdom relationships. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ have contacted us from across this nation. And one of our brothers are here in the house with us this morning that's going to come for and bring the word of God. Amen. 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 And we just want to praise God and thank him and celebrate the goodness of God. And we thank God for our kingdom brother all the way from Florence, South Carolina, being in the house with us. Will you put your hands together and welcome Bishop William Young. Come on. I need you to make some noise like you hate the devil. Come on, I need the celebrating sound of believers that know that you got hope. We still win. Tell somebody we still win. Still win. We praise him today for being in the place of worship. And we are humbled to be able to uh, do what we do. I'm glad I can serve him, amen? Uh, free and liber liberally to be able to serve him. People in other countries wish they could serve, but we have so much that's right at our fingertips that we fail to appreciate. This man of God is, literally has been, he's changed my life, literally just when you when you love doing what you're doing some people can't receive what you do and loving what you do and you do it with an aggression some people be like what's wrong with him but I celebrate this man of God because he lets me be what I love to be and that's serving the people of God amen you have an awesome pastor. He is my brother. I can't be here every Sunday. I tried to get away and say, let me come, but they won't let me leave my church. I love you. I didn't just start loving you. And I think people know that I will fight, bite, be a Mike Tyson and bite your ear off. Because I love my brother. Say amen. Um, his wife who compliments him, she pushes him. She calls him her baby. Even when she's in pain, she hides her pain to make sure he goes. Because you can't tell me you're not hurting and you got the strong 
but you're just as hurt. And I celebrate you, woman of God, for celebrating him and giving him to us. We love you. Thank you, Pastor V, to the immediate family, to all of the sisters and Chris and, and uh, Aunt Bert, Mott and Angie, and to Mom Hilton's sister that's with us. We are humbled to have you with us. We're going to love on you while you're here. Amen. Celebrate the kingdom of God for your neighbor. Tell your neighbor this is for you. All of our pastors, whatever your place is, be seated. Uh, one of our Episcopal sons is here, Bishop Charlie Parker. Uh, Lady Mary Parker is here from Prophetess Mary Parker. She's a secret weapon, I promise you. Um, she sits and she just pushes everybody else, but if you give her that mic and she shake that left hand, you're going to see something going. And I celebrate her. I met them when I first started coming here uh, to Ohio and met, of course, them. And the Lord has blessed our relationship. The Lord is good. Amen. And I'm honored. I'm humbled. I'm glad to be in the place of worship. Uh, Mom Bostic, we love you. We're glad to we're glad we celebrate you. I know you're in pain, but we celebrate you. Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God for the standard of holiness yet is amongst us. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank God for her. Thank God for her. Amen. That was her partner. Mother Sarah would come in and they would sit right together. Mother Sarah would come in. She'd come in speaking in tongues, rolling her hand. <laughs> Woo! Shaba! Hallelujah! So I got mixed emotions. One side want to cry, but the other side said, I can see her coming in the door. And she didn't care how much Bishop would be up talking from the logistical side of being the bishop that he is. If she walked in, she come on, shut come on, up, up. Hell, she didn't care what was going on. All she knew was, I made it in the house. Tell somebody in there, say, so glad I'm here. Y'all ain't talking loud enough. I said, tell your neighbor, so glad I'm here. And, and he would have to stop till she got in. <laughs> and I found out family, I promise you. And when my mama died, Bishop flew to Philadelphia. Uh, uh, and and, and he, 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 he poured into me. Because I promise you, when you're, in that, when you're in that space, the only thing that can help you is a praise. God. That's why some of you that's not, I know we all feel the pain of it, but right through here, we can't, if somebody say, huh, somebody got to say, hallelujah. You can't wait to see if it's going to work. You got to connect and plug in quick. Shake somebody, I say, plug in quick. Some of y'all ain't shaking your neighbor. I said, shake your neighbor and tell them, plug in quick. Because the only thing that's going to get them through this The right of uh, one side would say, we don't understand, we don't like it, and I got some people, if he needed people, I got some people he could have took, whole bunch of So one side is crying, but the other side say, plug in, look at somebody say, plug in quick. We're going to have another group of people that's going to be coming. So let me set the precedence for the word that when you see Bishop or one of the sisters, when you see Chris, when you see somebody start trying to praise him, you got to plug in quick. You can't wait. You got to plug in. Plug in. Plug in. Look at somebody say, plug in quick. Even if you're crying, you got to be able, if they start praising, you got to wipe one eye and start praising with the other.
knows the only people that can get them through this is the weight of the church family. So if they start praising, if you see Bishop go to, if you see Pastor V go to, go right in. Don't wait on it. Go right in. Don't wait on the music to give you the prop. No, go right in. When I shout now, let me see if you can play. Now listen, watch this. This kind of praise is not a feeling praise. You guys, whoa, whoa. No, this praise is a command praise, which means when I shout now, I want everybody in here that got a praise to go to praise you. One, two, three, now. Go in choir. Is that all you got? Plug in quick. Plug in quick. Y'all help him plug in. Come on, brother. Come up here and plug in. Plug in with him. Plug in, plug in. Where's the pluggers at? Somebody get over there with Mike. Plug in. Come on. Ow! Get your belly to praise him. Plug in. Plug in. Plug in quick. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help, help, help. Help is here. Help is here. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Hallelujah. Scripture says it like this, I will bless the Lord. And we quote the scripture, but we don't have the practice of it. And until you've had some all-time situations, at all times, even in this, we bless his name. Proverbs 18, Mark 5. Would you stand for the reading of the word? We're going to read this and promise I won't be long. We have a full day today and yet tomorrow. Proverbs 18, look at verse 21. Mark 5, verse 25. 
death and life are in the power of the tongue. They that, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life. It's in the power of the tongue. Mark 5, verse 25 through 28. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had. It was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard Jesus or heard of Jesus, came in the press behind touched his garment for she said if I may touch the clothes or touch his clothes I shall be whole. Blessed now in Jesus name we say amen. Tell your neighbor near you say neighbor amen. let your tongue write the next line. Give me just a few minutes. Be seated just for a few minutes. It's indicative for us to notice and to appreciate, number one, that we're living in a time that we have people around us that really don't know what to say. You almost would question, did that come out of her mouth. You're doing everything possible to lose weight and they just say anything. They don't have no couth or no restraint. They have nothing. Uh, some, my daughters call it a filter. She, she says, Daddy, my filter's kind of broke sometime. I said, I know, baby. But in essence, you have some people that really don't know what to say. They just say anything out of their mouths and you'd be surprised but Solomon being a wise man Bible says that he starts by saying death and life he puts death first because one death is a strong power in the earth realm it almost if you look at it to the natural it's the end for some people but to the believer it's called sleep it's not even death he said behold Paul says we shall not all sleep and even though it looks like they're dead but uh, we got the results of what left we have the aftermath we have the shell but uh, uh, and tonight tomorrow we will see the shell but in essence they're still living <laughs> uh, in essence you have to understand to some what comes out of their mouths is where they live at Hmm. Got to remind yourself as a believer that you got to ultimately watch what you say and what's said to you. We've lied for years and said sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. But if the truth be told to some of us adults that are still sitting here, we're still trying to unlayer word curses that was told to us while growing up. They called me Big Head Billy. I got in a whole bunch of fights because they called me Big Head Billy. But until I realized what I was and who I was, and they said, you ugly, you this, because I had bald head with thick glasses and knickers and little uh, loafer shoes. Mama made me wear those little funny looking bro, bro gang. It was called Bro Gang Buster Browns. I, I was upset. And then we had uh, rummer sale shoes. I didn't have the new stuff. I had stuff that already had a curve in them. But in essence, they teased me to make me feel bad because of what I looked like because I didn't even know I looked bad. But they told me, you got a big head. You just ugly. You got thick glasses. Google glasses, Google glass. And that thing bothered me. But oh. 
when I got engaged, when I got, and, 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 oh, no, go further than that. Uh, when a girl told me, hey, Billy, oh, that thing made me feel better because at least she spoke to me. In essence, what's your point, Bishop Young? Uh, what was said to me started changing how I felt about me. Look at your name and say, watch how you talk about me. Now watch, 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 now watch, watch. That's one reason why even without children, you got to watch what you say to them because they might be your pastor. They might be your mayor. They might be somebody of influence that you're going to need. You better be careful how you handle people in their now because their shall be has not been described yet. You got to understand something as a believer. Hear now the woman. The Bible starts and says, here is is a woman sound man can I get a little more monitor notice now he says the scripture says here is a woman it says a certain woman which technically says that she's not of any importance she's really just a person that we need to use her issue or her problem as the point in essence people are identified by what happened to them uh, what the problem is. They many times won't remember you as the name but they will remember you by your problem. Hmm. Anybody besides me remember some people by what they look like, how they, you know, the little short lady. Uh-huh. The, 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 the bow-legged man. You didn't know his name but you, you remembered what he looked like. You know the chunky girl. Uh, the bald head preacher. Bishop and them had a preacher at their church. It was the bald head preacher that told me to sit down. No, no they don't know my name but they they, ca they caught my identity. They looked at what I looked like. In essence, uh, this woman, now I'm hearing along because we got to get some more praise in here before I go to my seat. Uh, the woman now, she is identified by what was going on with her. You got to understand now the Bible says, and it gives a length of time. It says that she's had a problem for 12 years. What do you do when something uh, sticks with you for a long time? You can deal with it. It was a weak problem. If you got a cold for a week, we good. You got a problem for two days, we good. Excellent. I've been coughing a little bit. I've been trying to get through and taking Mucinex and all this other stuff. But if it lasted longer than expected, I would start questioning what's going on. What do you do when the thing, it does not go away. What do you do? What do you do? I wish I had some people in the room that can be human enough. I heard Bishop say it earlier that I'm just uh, 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 Lewis's and Sarah's oldest child. I wish I could, uh, oldest son. I wish I could have some people to be able to take off your Superman suit and be human for a minute to let some people know I've been there. Tell somebody, I've been there. I've been there. I know we polish up good. We polish up real good as if we never had no problems, as if we never thought about suicide, as if we never had no problem with our spouse. You good and married now, honey, but tell me the first couple of months you got married when you wanted to put cyanide in his food or put a stamp on her head. I wish I had some help from some real people. I need to remind some of you that beyond all of the stuff we put on, underneath all of that, we're still human. We still got some problems. We still got some stuff that does not pinkle, pinkle, tab up the poof and go away. What do you do when the thing is still there? It's not going nowhere. Still here. <laughs> ha! You knew that Pookie would act like this? Me and Buzzard, Bubba, Boo Boo, whoever would have never touched each other that night. Y'all ain't being real. If I knew, sometime my girls, you know I'm the proud father of 15 year old twins. They are the word baby, because one time we thought we were gonna have them here. <laughs> uh, she was pregnant, huge. Now, I'm almost wondering, one has my look, She's mild like her mother, but the other one has my energy. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. When they 
were little with the Rothschild dresses, little shoes with the bow on them. That was nice. I was loving it. I can come home with a little bag of peanuts or pretzels, and they jump up, Daddy! Run to me, jump on me, yes! But now, I need a little note there. I'm going to holler quick. I told you I'm going quick. Now, now, now. The one, I look at her, and sometimes I look at her like this and say, where am I in you? <laughs> then all you need is your mother to call you and say, she just like you. You're getting it back. God getting you. But if I knew, if I knew, if I knew that I would have to go through some of the stuff that's going on when they, because now, teenagers now, when they talk about some stuff, if you ain't braced, locked down, put your seatbelt on, they gonna tell you some stuff to make your head spin around like the exorcist baby. Sad that high school girls have the option of being gay to prevent being pregnant. We, the church said, don't get pregnant, don't get pregnant, don't get pregnant. But we didn't tell them about hormones. So now they snuck into a secret relationship because you told them to deny the sexual encounter of a male, but you didn't tell them about the hormones. So now the hormones are being pacified, petted by the female. What do you do when the trouble is real? What do you do after all the dancing, spinning around, crisscross, do the curtsy, do the whatever, dance dignified, whatever way you want to, when all that finished, the trouble is still standing there. Trouble does not hide because of your title. Sometimes, the bigger the title, the more the trouble. <laughs> Run up here, son. Run up here, too. Uh, you get some stuff ready. Together, trouble pop up. You fixing this, trouble tap you on the shoulder. You're like, Lord Jesus. It's amazing how, because some trouble, as long as we're going in a distance, we forget about some stuff we used to do. I'm in the house. Y'all just keep looking forward. I'm going to tell you to plug in quick, right quick. But you're going to need to plug in after this kind of word because what do you do when the trouble is still following you? My mama died. I was upset. I was mad. I was preaching. I was, got back to Florence and was lost in my own city sitting at the red light because I was trying to be Superman, super this, super that for everybody, 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 everybody. Because it's sad that some people don't even let you be human. He, he, watch this. He, he said, Bitch, I, don't cry, bitch. Don't, he was patting me in the face. Don't cry, bitch. Don't cry. I said, That ain't your mother in there. Don't tell me don't cry. Go on, get on. Get, get on. Somebody said, Get on, get on. Get, get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the point? What do you do when the trouble it keeps following you? Out. Now, I, I'm showing you this as a parallel because we are perfect and we are good examples of letting stuff following, uh, follow us and we don't address it. And some stuff, all it needs is a good addressing so it can process better. But because we are in total denial of what we used to be. It's your thing, Dan, and do what you want. When you were out there, you did what you wanted to do. Where my drummer? Where the drummer sleep? Where is he at? <laughs> Thank you.
Come on, you got sweetly saved, but before you got sweetly saved, you was a hot tamale. Hot taco, hot tamale, hot whatever. I'm talking to the old church right quick because everybody wasn't sanctified all the way through like the Hiltons. Mom and Pop Hilton, they were saved. Most of the time, all they liked, that's all they knew was saved. Y'all ain't saying much. But some of us remember. They didn't do the nasty dances now. They just did the smooth stuff. in that state something else followed you we don't want to deal with what happened back then now let me go let me go here then I'm gonna ride out listen if you don't deal with the real stuff of what you used to be with these young people now you are totally exempt from their psyche and their conversation. I don't hear enough of y'all. So, thank you. Where my trouble at? He go. All right. You can go. I'm sorry. Hey, go trouble. You good trouble too. That's all right. <laughs> trouble. Trouble. Tr tell somebody. Trouble. 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 Trouble, 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 this trouble now, this trouble, what do you do now, come, come, what do you do now, because the problem now that this woman has, has caused her to be unclean, she has something that has made her be totally out of sync to what's going on, mm. You could not go amongst the sanctified. You could not go amongst the temple. You could not go amongst the people of God because of your issue, because of your stench. And it's almost a parallel of leprosy. If you had this kind of problem, you had to have something on you and made labeling you unclean. You had to be able to have something on your top lip because those that had an issue or a disease, they were not permitted to pray. So they had to have a black strip on their lip letting them know you're not allowed to praise. What do you do now? This woman now, she's unclean. And you got to understand something, that her issue caused her to be isolated from everybody. There are some things that will cause people to be totally isolated. It's sad, and that's one thing that you have to be careful of, even when you walk through a place called depression, because depression will isolate you from real people. The danger of isolation and the Chinese had perfected it with Chinese torture. They would put you in a four by four pit and leave you there uh, only because you could not talk to anybody. You were underground in four by four square and you had to stay there for days and staying there not being able to communicate and being isolated from population was a total killing mechanism of your mind. It's just like the enemy because as long long as he can get you to shut up and be by yourself you label it isolation or and you label it depression you label it I don't want to bother nobody but every now and then you got to be a bother for somebody that's why David said when my heart is overwhelmed he gave somebody permission to lead me to the rock come on somebody that's why bishop blue myself and other bishops parker blake uh wyatt some of them are coming in why because bishop and the family their heart right now is overwhelmed uh, but if he ever got to the place of saying i ain't preaching no more because i promise you grief and pain and depression will make you forget in the reality place of what's really going on because one side of you says just let me go leave me alone I was driving I told you this earlier I was in Florence and I was lost riding in my city lost because I was functioning but I was depressed I was preaching
preaching, but I was depressed. I was around my family and my children, but I was depressed. And that's one thing you got to be careful of, that you do not be a perfected person so much that you know how to do it out of routine and never have a breakthrough in your own spirit. You got to come out of there. You got to come out. Tell somebody you got to come out of there. You got to come out of there. Mm. This woman now, she was isolated. He now noticed now the Bible says that he now she's in a place that she's by herself. She had already spent all that she had. What do you do now? Because we are living in a society that we've been so cold dependent on everything being given to us. Even our children are being reared with the mindset that you owe me something. Mama, you owe me this. You owe me that. And the flip side of it, we the parent, we went through some stages and we're saying out of our own mouths that I don't want my child to go through what I went through. But I got to remind some of the 40 and above for one minute, what you went through made you strong. What you went through made you have stamina and had you had respect. What you went through it made you appreciate a meal what you went through it made you appreciate the food that's on your plate but now we got little people little children our children grandchildren that don't know how to eat asparagus and don't know how to eat broccoli don't know how to eat spinach but our generation we didn't have ear infections like that we didn't have all these kinds of diseases going on now and now if you don't buy that child what they ask you for. They go into an immediate temper tantrum. And the problem is we we submit to the tantrum and ride up and get them whatever they say they want. They go to pout and puff and, and act and ball up their fists like they're going to turn into something. But I wish I had some believers in the room that can appreciate that the way the Lord brought you through. And thank God for the rearing of good seasoned parents. I heard Bishop saying, though I'm breathing, though my heart is aching, but mom and daddy taught me Jesus. They taught me how to appreciate a good meal. I don't know. I really don't know what's wrong with the age that we live in now because young people don't even say thank you anymore. They walk past you and won't even say good morning in your house while they slept in your bed, sucking your heat and your air condition and then go in your refrigerator and get mad if you ain't got no more milk. <laughs> they looking at you cock like you crazy. <laughs> but I wish I had some believers in the house <laughs> to remind your mind <laughs> that the way that the Lord brought you through <laughs> it made you have a standard of groundness. <laughs> and you just didn't just, just, you didn't just respect your own mother. <laughs> but anybody that was an adult, you said hello. <laughs> you said good afternoon, ma'am. <laughs> you didn't mind letting a lady walk in first. You didn't mind letting the lady sit down and prefer your seat. But now we got trouble everywhere. Tell somebody there's trouble everywhere. Notice now that he now notice this woman had a problem because society has spoiled us and because we're looking for something quick and free. I had a giveaway at my church. I gave away cabbage, hams, greens, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, toothpaste, deodorant, all kinds of personals. Had a flock full of people. But as soon as was nothing else to give away. Nobody else was there. What am I trying to show you, believers? We're living in a handout age. But I got news for you as a believer. God told me to tell you now it's time to get your mind in the mode. That thank God for Trump because Trump is driving you back to prayer. What do you do when there's nothing else to get? When you can't get nothing else free, it's going to make you turn your face to the wall and trust tithing and offerings and trust the fact that say Lord I've been a giver I've been faithful to your word I've held on to the principles of the word of God 
if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray tell somebody go back to prayer this woman this woman I'm almost finished this woman has a problem that number one showed her who really is real as long as she had money she can go to any doctor she had money the Bible says she spent all that she had which technically says she had substance when this started and the danger of having people only around you just to milk you you need to check the motive of people that's around you. I'm at the place now when people come even to my church, when they come to join and say, I'm here to help you. I say, all right, I don't need no help. You go down the street, we don't need no help. Because when they get that mind, I'm here to help you. And then what they think they help you get accomplished, they want to take the glory for getting it done. Versus, I'm here to serve. We can use you. Come on in, baby. Come on in. Ultimately, some have motives. What's your motive for being close to me? I'm only talking to a few of you because that kind of statement only comes to people that understands their own value. I have a whole bunch of preachers, and out of all the years I've been coming here, I have never called Bobby Hilton, Bishop Bobby Hilton, and said, Bishop, I got a friend of mine in town. Can he come by at the Word and preach for you? Why? Because I got people that only want to connect to me only because they know who I'm connected to. Look at your neighbor near you and say, what's your motive? What's your motive? What's your motive? What's your motive? What, 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 what? Look, look what I'm doing. I'm mimicking her, but I got a reason for being here because I want to do that. I like that. I like that. I mm -hmm, mm, like mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I like See, see, in essence, you need to start checking people that if you don't have a reason to be around me, that is one uh, dual purpose. There needs to be a dual reciprocation between the two of us. If I give you this, what, what should I receive? In other words, I'm not going to let you just steal from me and keep stealing from me and never give me nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Why, 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 are you, why are you running up a credit card for Christmas and your child still does not come home at a decent hour? Or they still don't clean their room where you let them have a space to even sleep. And they still, when you say clean the kitchen, they still don't clean the kitchen. Woman has problem going to my seat here. Yeah. The problem here is that faith now, because I don't have nothing, I'm empty, because I'm empty, that's why I like when you see people that's really genuine, that want God, they don't need extra stuff, they just want Jesus, you ain't got to, you ain't got to prime them and, and, and pet them, burp them, change the pamper. You ain't got to do none of that. They just come to church. You ain't got to give them the, the church court. Da, da, da. Give me the little, the little vent. Da, 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 da. Da. Cause see, some of, the, some of us that have been in church a long time, when we hear that, give me a little, where's my drum at? The drum asleep. Where is he? Is you asleep? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here real quick. Let me lay hands on your drum. Look at this. You sleep or drunk? It's one or the other. 
I'm trying to preach and you messing up a good message. My son, you got me? All right, come on now. Come on now. You mess up a good, don't mess up a good pot of stew. See, we, listen, we that been in church a while. Give me that little thing. When we hear, when we, when we hear the little, we could be talking. Yeah. When we hear that, give me that again. Oh, oh. Let me get ready. It's almost like doing double dutch. No, that's those, that's those that been here that hear the prompt to go. When you start thinking about who Jesus is, you don't care where you sitting at. You can be, give me some somber music like Bishop just trying to, yes, give me that one right there, yeah. You can be start thinking about, ooh. I was crazy. I almost committed suicide and killed my babies with me. I went, because there are some stuff that would make you try to kill yourself and your children. Don't y'all sit in like you ain't never had some stuff. You'll start going, ah, yeah. me all the way down because you're taking me all the way out. There is some stuff. Come on, come on. I'm talking about 12 of y'all can, that can remember it ain't been that long ago that you had some stuff. You didn't care what your praise looked like. I was at my church. Oh, I'm sorry. Let her go. Now, come on. Give her a quick. Come on. Go with her quick. I let her go. At my church, you had some stuff. Let me do an interview. The news been here all week. You had some stuff. Can you? The scripture said we overcame him by the blood of the lamb, listen, and the word of our testimony. Now, her just dancing is minimal, but when she tell her stuff, because see, some of y'all get so delivered, you don't tell nobody what you came through, so the other person that's struggling will never know they can get out, because you're too scared to tell where you really been at. You had some stuff, I have some stuff. Some personal stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Listen, listen. When, when you, listen, when you, when you get, when you get really delivered, you don't care who know. Because the people you're trying to impress can't pay your mortgage. I had one girl, she's straight from the projects. We were wide on praise. I said, give any praise you got. Whatever praise you got, give it. She got in the middle of the aisle. Thank you. She would say, thank you. And she got in her praise, and her praise was her dance that she usually did. She did like this. I don't know what this dance is called, but I know they dance like. I said, oh. But then I said, I told her to praise her. See, what am I showing you? When you got a breakthrough, you don't care who don't understand what you just came out of. All right. I'm almost, my time I'm almost going off. Look, watch this. Watch this. Bible says, and I'm closing with this. Bible, uh, media team, can I put, can you put that verse on? on the screen because I got to go here and I got to stop because I don't got I don't got caught out here watch this I need 28 she heard 
that Jesus was coming. Now, part of the indictment of this house is that somebody ain't telling somebody about what you really got delivered from because we still got empty, empty chairs. Come on. Because if you really told the story, somebody going to follow you to see what got you delivered. I got a lady at my church. She looked like Bernie Mac. Straight rough. She was drinking Red Bull beer. The beer, you got the bull on the face. Bull on the can. She, she said, bitch, yeah. Our church was in the plaza at that time. She said, bitch, yeah. I want to do something in church. And she looked rough. I said, you know what? I'm going to put you on the usher board. I put her right at the door. Now, what's your point, Bishop? Our church was in the plaza in the hood. The boys was coming into churches, snatching the pocketbook and run out. But I had her at the door. She be, she be posted up like this. Give me this beat. Even when, we, even when we be in praise, she be in the back like this. Had a jerry curl. She still got the jerry curl. It drip. Listen. And this is a true story. Man came in my church. He came in the door. Little short man. He came in the door. He said, he started. He said, uh, 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 you, you, you the preacher? I said, I said yeah. He, 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 I, I got to talk to you. I said, well, what's wrong? What's wrong, sir? Uh, that, 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 that usher. And I knew who he was talking about. I said, oh, Lord, what did Cherry done did now? What Cherry done? I said, well, what did she do? What's her right there? She said, he, 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 he said, he got real nervous. He said, yes, sir. That one right there. I said, well, what did she do? She say. I said, yeah, she say. She in church. She ain't speaking in all the tongues, but she's speaking in tongues. She said, I, 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 I just had to come see who's preaching to her. I said, well, what do you mean? He said, because she beat me up three times. <laughs> and if she say, I had to come see who's preaching to that one, right? If she can get saved, I need to see Jesus. <laughs> What's your point? We got all these chairs, and you ain't brought nobody with you? And you come here every week and ain't brought nobody? Nobody, no, nobody? Watch the text. Watch this. Look at the text. She heard. What's your point? She heard. Just imagine if somebody wouldn't have said nothing. She heard that Jesus, the man who blinded eyes, was healed. He's already healed. He's already delivered. So I, I hear, I hear, and there's enough trouble going around that if you opened your mouth, somebody, go the other way, Bishop, for a minute. Let me throw this out here since I'm already out. Why are you asking for a new car and you don't bring nobody in the hoop deal? I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. Come on, come on. We, we, watch this. We, she, she heard, she heard that Jesus is passing. She heard. Watch the text. For she said, before we even get to faith, I like faith, but she's a sinner who don't know Jesus, unclean, not even a church girl. Isn't it sad that somebody that's unclean is getting more than some of us that's sitting in here saying, we, I love him. She stole a miracle. 
Y'all ain't saying much. She came in. She said, what's your, what's, your, what's, your mess, what's your subject, Bishop Young? Let your tongue write your next line. I'm already sick, broken, hurt. And she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I don't need an audience. I ain't got to get in his face. I ain't, well, I, I ain't going to that church because that church too big. Baby, if you really need some help, if you really okay, how big the, I don't care how big it is. She said, if I can but just touch his clothes. Watch this. Watch this. I shall. I, I shall. Watch this. She sneaks in and steals. I wanted to preach. I wanted to entitle this, There's a Thief in the House. But some of y'all would have grabbed your pocketbook. You'd be like, look, look at your neighbor. There's a thief. What you doing? Oh, 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 baby. Yeah, some of them, wait, get my purse, baby. Where my purse at? But she stole. She's illegal, but she, 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 hey, hey, if I can just touch his clothes, watch, I don't need a face to face, or, may I talk to the bishop, please? Uh, I don't need all that. I just got to get in, press, watch this, she press through, press through the crowd, press through the people that say, you going today? Yep. If you talk to Bishop and talk to them, and then Burton, they said, Mama Hilton was dressed about two hours before church. See, that's when you get prepared, that just in case I got to, if, if I got to press through a press, I'm ready. I, I wish I had some people, because see, we get ready for every, we get ready to go on vacation, we pack our bags. We don't just wake up, I'm going, All right, I'm going, bye. No, pack your bags. Because there ain't no Walmarts in Hawaii like this. Come on, you just can't just land and say, I'll buy some clothes when I get there. You prepare. Now, what's your point? I'm closing because my time is off. And I'm going to sit down because I'm the bishop of protocol, which means I represent order. Say amen. amen. Now, closure is this. Let your tongue write your next line. I'm supposed to be wide open screaming like the Geico pig saying, wee, so you can know. But I need you to sit here and get this part because you're sitting there and some stuff's going on because you ain't writing it with your tongue. And there's two or three touching. The power of the touch. That's why you need the right person touching you because if the wrong person touch you, they drain you. And some of you are sucked out like a dried up prune because you got the wrong people touching you. She touched. Now, catch this. Watch this point. When she touched him, Jesus stopped. He said, who touched me? Now, isn't it sad? That scripturally, in essence, and what that represents, because you never hear what Jesus ever asked that question before, which means there was a whole bunch of people comfortable with being around Jesus, but not touching him. Why be here and don't touch him? The text, what's the text? Let your tongue. Your next line. Our children should never be, my daughters now, I'm preparing them now to be millionaires. Why? I'm letting their tongues write their next line. Preparing them now for wealth. Letting them know you're more than a conqueror. You're more than just a little girl. You're the choice of God. Huh? What's your point? What's your point, Bishop Young? I'm challenging you that your tongue can no longer be wasted 
without writing the next step. Your tongue can write your next step. Whether it's prosperous or defeat, your tongue can write it. So what have you said to cause the next step to become better? Think, if I do my job correctly, I should make you scratch your head when you're thinking about riding home. You're weak. Did you order it? It's sad. McDonald's has gotten a, a, a principle that we should be practicing. You go to the window and order. You go to the one door, one next window, and pay. And the next window, you expect to get what you paid for. Why? You said it, and I won what I said. You don't go there and say, just give me whatever you feel like giving me. You don't go to Ruth Chris. Well, hello, welcome to Ruth Chris. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, our specials is, what would you have? Uh, give me what you feel like. No, if you're paying $40 a plate for a steak, you're going to tell them what you want, how you want it, and which way you want it cooked. Say amen. Bow your heads. Father, I have done what you said. I challenge your people to let their tongue write the next line for their lives. Death and life is in their mouths. I shall not die but live. Utako Shaba. I am more than a conqueror. By your stripes, I am healed. So I speak into the earth realm and challenge my body to catch up with my words. In the name of Jesus, my son shall be saved. David shall live holy. What I said shall catch his body because your word cannot return void. Thank you for my power of my tongue being more powerful than I have ever imagined. So I will speak over to my left and my right. I will speak forth in my own mouth and my own life that I shall see goodness and mercy. I shall see riches and blessings. For it's in the name of Jesus that I speak. And we say amen. Take a minute, do this for me. Just touch somebody near you, next to you, and speak over their lives. Speak a blessing, speak something for them. Because the Bible says she touched and immediately. While you're touching that person, God's doing something in their lives right now. Right now he's healing that person. The person you're touching right now, he's helping their home. The person you're touching right now, you're blessing that hand. You're blessing that family. You're blessing their body right now. Your touch is making the difference. Now, once you touch them, go ahead and celebrate their deliverance. Celebrate. The Bible said, and immediately something began to happen. And immediately, come on, I need the, I need the expected spirit that because you touch them, something happened. Open your mouths and bless them. Open your mouths and bless him. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Let your tongue right. Your next line, amen. Let's thank God for the word of God that we've heard today. Come on, do better than that. And all of the rejoicing that we've done this morning, our ultimate goal, our ultimate purpose is that someone else gets to know who Jesus is. He's our reason for being here. He's my purpose for living. It's all about Jesus. It's all about him. It is in him that we live, move, and have our being. Amen. And there's nothing like 
knowing Jesus. If you haven't given your life to him, we encourage you to come right now. You can do it in a moment. You can do it in a moment. It's a matter of just saying, Lord, here I am. I surrender my life to you. I want to give everything I am to you that you may live in me, that you may direct my path. Amen. If you need prayer, desire prayer for any reason, please come. You desire prayer for any reason, please come. We have ministers that are ready to pray with you. He is a prayer answering God. Come on. He's a prayer answering God. He's a prayer answering God. Come on, that's right. Clap your hands, brother. Those are coming for prayer this morning. Come on. My soul says yes. And say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They're coming for prayer today. Oh, yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart. They're still coming, y'all. Come on, they're still coming. They're still coming. Come on. We need some prayer warriors up here. Come on. They're still coming. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Completely, yes. They're still coming. Clap your hands, they're still coming, come on. Oh, my soul, they're still coming, yeah. My soul, my soul said yes. Said yes. Help me tell the Lord I love, you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. They're still coming, come on. I love you, Jesus. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. To the very depths of my soul. To the depths of my soul. Oh, yeah. I love you. I really do. I really do. I really do. I really do. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Someone may be here today that will say, I know. I heard the word of God. I know I felt his presence. And I know this is where the Lord yes, is instructing me that I should be. That I may live a healed life, a saved life, a life surrendered to him. You ought to come and join us. You ought to come and join us as we are determined to be all that God called us to be. But prayer just keep coming right in front of me for membership, discipleship. Come over to my left. We're ready to welcome you to the house of the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. My soul, My soul says, yes. says yes. Oh, and tell him yes. Yeah. 